I guess because she snatched our edges so hard with that album and with that concert, with that tour, baby. She said, here, I'm gonna give y'all some hair products to get y'all edges back. <laughs> the final consensus is that the day has finally come. I got Beyonce's new hairline. There's been so much speculation, opinions, predictions. I'm not here to talk about none of that. I just wanna know, do the products actually work for me? I got it, let's try it, let's go. <laughs> I haven't been this excited about a hair product launch since Pattern Beauty. What was that, like 2019 or something like that? So I have the Olaplex number zero and number three in my hair right now because number one, my stylist told me to use it every single week. So I'm gonna listen to what she says, right? Two, whenever I'm trying out new products, I like to make sure that I do the exact same routine that I would normally do, you know, cause I wanna know, does it work with the other products that I like to use? Does it work for hairstyles that I always do you know like i don't want to try a new style try something different i want to know how does this fit into the routine that i currently do right now i did buy the entire super fan bundle okay i'm not a beyonce super fan i love beyonce i think she is one of the greatest performers of all time and i respect her deeply as an artist and i had a great time at the renaissance concert <laughs> but i've never considered myself like a super fan but i did want to try all of the products because i'm a hair influencer so you know this, this is what i do two i was really intrigued by this line y'all like she really got me like first of all the packaging is beautiful like it looks like stone but it's obviously it's plastic but it looks like stone it's so pretty um the shapes the geometry of it all like it just looks so aesthetically pleasing it it's very pleasing to my eyeballs um today i'm going to be using the hydrating shampoo uh the clarifying shampoo the moisturizing deep conditioner the moisture sealing lotion oh also the fermented rice and roti roti <laughs> the fermented rice and rose protein ritual and the nourishing hair oil so this is you know how i would normally do my hair routine i usually do a clarifying shampoo and then a moisturizing shampoo followed by a deep conditioner leave-in and just a little bit of an oil for some shine um the only like thing that's kind of different is the protein treatment i'm excited because i don't have a protein treatment and i think it's good for me to have that in my routine i've also been looking for a new deep conditioner so hopefully i like it yeah i'm excited i'm ready y'all ready because i'm ready let's let's do this it's time for me to wash out this olaplex um so let's get in the shower let's go okay the first thing i'm gonna use is the clarifying shampoo and scalp scrub I was pleasantly surprised by the fact that it has this nozzle for you to directly apply it to your scalp. However, the shampoo is a bit thick, so it's kind of hard to squeeze the product out of the bottle. It's a little inconvenient, um, unfortunately, but I do really like this shampoo. It smells like mint. It does have tea tree oil in there, so that's probably what I'm smelling. It smells really, really good. Um, it also has like micro beads for exfoliation in there. I think it's a really good clarifying shampoo. I'm not gonna lie, I felt like my hair got really, really clean after using this. I did have to hit my hair with some more water in, a, in order to get it to really lather up. It kinda took a minute, but once it got going, it really got going. Okay, so next we're following up with the hydrating shampoo and I've listed all of the key ingredients for each product so that you can take a look and research them if you want to. Uh, but this shampoo is obviously a moisturizing shampoo. I do usually like to do a clarifying and a moisturizing shampoo, especially when I'm about to do a silk press. If I'm doing curly hair, then I'll probably just use a moisturizing shampoo unless I really need to clarify my hair uh, but I really love this shampoo as well it also smells it has a different smell but it smells really good it's very light not too overbearing and it left my hair feeling really moisturized and clean y'all what can I say I mean th these are good shampoos like really good shampoos I really like them love the ingredients uh, so next thing we're gonna move on to the protein treatment so this is a fermented rice and rose protein treatment Yes, I brought my Pyrex glass into the shower with me. They said you're supposed to use 24 ounces of water to mix in with the step one portion, which is the actual protein, um, which I realize is just 
the bottle like I could just fill the bottle up that was 24 ounces but I didn't know that so I just wanted to be sure and make sure I was following directions correctly uh, so then you're supposed to pour the water over your hair until the entire solution runs out so that is what I did it took me a little minute job I was like all right how much product is in here <laughs> but um yeah so I just continued to submerge my hair with that solution with that protein treatment so once you've run out of product you're supposed to let that sit on your hair for five minutes so I just kind of stood up in the shower I had a little karaoke moment okay and then I rinsed it out and moved on to step two step two is just you're supposed to pour that into your hand and apply that all over your hair this is the silkening treatment it's supposed to basically make your hair soft after the protein treatment because protein treatments make your hair really hard so you apply that to your hair and let that sit for another five minutes and we have another dance break <laughs> Once the five minutes is up, I rinse the product out of my hair and move on to the moisturizing deep conditioner. Now this product, y'all, this product is super thick. I was not ready. <laughs> I was not ready for how thick this deep conditioner is. And I love that because my hair is super thick. So this worked perfectly. So I just worked that throughout my hair and detangled with it. Now my hair was a little hard to detangle, I think because of the protein treatment. Um, but I do think the conditioner has a decent slip. I'm, I'm going to have to try it again, but I was able to get my brush through my hair, so it's fine. And then I let that sit in my hair for 30 minutes. I, you know, did my shower, stepped out the shower, and once the 30 minutes was up, I rinsed it out in my kitchen sink because I didn't have time to go back inside my shower. That's just too much, so... This is what my hair looked like after rinsing out the deep conditioner. My hair is feeling very soft at this point, very moisturized, but also very strong and healthy because of that protein treatment. I just washed the deep conditioner out. My hair feels really good. It feels really strong. So I'm about to apply the moisture sealing lotion in. Let's see how this is. Okay, I like the texture. It's nice and thick, but it's not too thick. Mm, smells good. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about how it feels on my hair. I'm just going to apply a little bit more of this side. Also, my hands are kind of pruny and wrinkly. I can't really feel much. Oh. So I'm just going to comb it through my hair a little bit. It doesn't really have any slip. But that's okay because the deep conditioner had plenty slip. I just want to make sure that I'm getting this on all the strands. Now also I have to remember that the protein treatment, the protein treatment did a number on my hair. So my hair feels like I just did a protein treatment, you know. So it's a little, what's the word, strong. <laughs> I'm gonna have to give this lotion another go when I don't do a protein treatment. Cause it's just hard to tell. Okay, so I still not too sure about this lotion. Still not too sure about it, but I'm gonna give it some time. Yeah, so what I usually do when I straighten my hair, I let my hair kind of air dry or like towel dry for however long I feel like it and then I come back I apply my heat protectant and then I blow dry and straighten so I'm gonna go relax for a little bit because your girl is tired and yeah I'll be back we'll see we'll see okay so my hair has been air drying towel drying for about 30 minutes maybe a little more it feels like I just did a protein treatment for sure but um it also does feel very moisturized it feels very soft soft but strong i like it so far i'm impressed i'm not gonna lie and i'm not just saying that as a beyonce fan like i really am impressed with these products so i don't know y'all she might have did something 
she might have did something. Separate my hair and apply my heat protecting products, my color wow dream coat extra strength because I am about to do a silk press. So, wow, look at the grays coming back in aggressively. Like, I'm ready to see these results. I'm not gonna get too detailed with this next part because I do have a video coming out on how I do my silk presses. So if y'all want to see it, let me know in the comments. To be honest with you, I don't know if I like how the footage came out, so I don't know if I'm gonna post it for real. But if y'all really want to see it, I can do it again. I can refilm. All right, so like I said, I'm not gonna get too deep into this, so I'm gonna just do this and I'll be back. This blow dryer going through my hair feels so good. Like, my hair feels... My hair feels so healthy right now. I ain't gonna lie, I did a damn good job blowing my hair out. Look how straight it is. No flat iron, just blow dry. Just blow dry, so I'm slight. Um, yes, I just finished blow drying my hair. It feels amazing. Feels very nice looks really good uh now i'm going to flat iron it but so far so good y'all i had to move back to my main bathroom because the lights kept going out because of the blow dryer and that was annoying so um there's just a lot of stuff going on on that side of the house a lot of lights on my boyfriend's playing video games i had the uh, photography lights on it was just too much so i think the leave-in is just as thick as I need a leave-in to be for a press, you know? Um, I usually like to use leave-ins that are on the lighter side. However, my hairstylist told me that I should get a thicker leave-in even if I'm gonna do a silk press because my hair is so thick and so dry <laughs> that I need, I need, I need a thicker product, you know? So this sacred leave-in, so far so good, you know? I don't know. So, 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 it's doing what it needs to do, I ain't gonna lie. Okay, y'all, I'm not even gonna lie. My hair is so soft. My hair is so soft. My hair ain't, ain't never been this soft except for when I leave the chair at the hair salon. <laughs> I Beyonce did her big one. Her and um, Mama Knowles. They did their big one, okay? They snapped. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna curl my hair real quick with my T3. I noticed that I have a lot less flyaways. Like I still have some flyaways. There's really not a whole lot that can be done about it, but I noticed there's a lot less flyaways than usual. Like, and I be having a lot of flyaways. Like I be having a lot of flyaways, but there is a lot less flyaways than usual. They did not have to go so hard. They did not have to go so hard. Beyonce, ma'am, ma'am, you already snatched my edges with the Renaissance album. And now here you go again. Well, I guess, you know what? I guess because she snatched our edges so hard with that album and with that concert, with that tour, baby, she said, here, I'm gonna give y'all some hair products to get y'all edges back. <laughs> She said, I'm gonna give y'all some products to get y'all edges back. Cause I know I snatched them, honey. I know, I know I snatched them. And she did. She snatched our edges right on off of our heads. And she said, here are some hair products to get you back together. I'm sorry. Well, hey y'all, I have finished curling my hair. It's giving CEO, it's giving first lady. Don't know how I feel about that, but whatever, <laughs> it's fine. Um, but oh, I should probably get this. Where I put my hair. 
hair last thing i need to do is put just a little bit of the nourishing hair oil just for some added shine i'm not gonna lie my hair looks real shiny she looks real <laughs> she looks real good y'all i'm not gonna lie this is just literally like two drops you can't even see that a little bit. I'm just gonna work it right through the hair. Okay, maybe maybe I won't do a side part, or maybe I will. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, and we are done. We are done. I'm gonna get some shots, some close-ups. I'm sorry, but do y'all see this shine? Do you see this body? Do you see how healthy my hair looks? Now, granted, I did just get a trim and a treatment from a salon a couple weeks ago, but the last silk press I did did not look this good. Like, this looks so good. My hair is so soft. Let, let, let's let talk about it. Let's talk about it. Like, I'm really feeling myself. Like, I'm eating. I'm, I'm really eating. Yes. I'm not gonna lie. I have not been this satisfied with an at-home press in ever in ever and i usually do a pretty good job but this this came out good honey this came out good my hair feels nice and strong i don't see a whole lot of dandruff i don't see a whole lot of flyaways i am thoroughly impressed thoroughly impressed uh, so obviously the final consensus is that I love it um who everything smells really really good but not too overbearing you know it's not super strong and I I'm not sensitive to smells but I don't like when things smell super duper strong I like a nice subtle smell I'm okay with that hey okay, oh the deep conditioner very thick very thick okay very thick i think it, it is really good for thick hair um if you have thick hair you're gonna really like that deep conditioner i think or there's a good chance that you'll like that deep conditioner the protein treatment i don't use a whole lot of protein treatments so i don't have a whole lot to compare it to but i have used afog and this smells way better than afog oh girl way better than afog okay the protein treatment actually smells really good and it actually feels like it works you know, my hair definitely felt like when you use protein treatments, your hair gets hard. My hair was hard. And then you put in like the silk treatment afterwards and it softens it up a little bit. And then the deep conditioner completely brought the moisture back to my hair. The leave-in, I really like the consistency of the leave-in. Um, I'm interested to try it when I don't do the protein treatment so I can really get a feel for it. But it definitely did make my hair nice and soft. My hair feels really good right now. Um, it didn't weigh my hair down too much so I can still get a nice, you know, flowy silk press. Um, wow, my hair looks so good right now. So good, so shiny. Done a review like this in a while, so I'm not sure how the format of this video went. If y'all like it, give, just give me a thumbs up. Let me know how you like this review. It's been a while since I did something like this. Um, and it's definitely different from how I've done things before, but um, I really like it. You know, a lot of people are like, I don't think Beyonce uses these products on her own hair. If she's not, she's messing out. <laughs> if Beyonce is not using sacred products on her hair for real, she needs to start because these products are so good. Objectively, these products are very good and I would spend my money on them again. Yes, I would. Yes, I would. 100%. Yes, I would. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, my hair just feels so... My hair feels really good. I, that's all I got to say. That's... And mind you, I bought all of this with my own money. Like I said, I purchased the Superfan bundle because I wanted to try all of the products so that I could try them and share them with you guys and let y'all know how it works. Because again, a lot of people who follow me feel like we have similar hair textures, hair types, whatever. So I did this for y'all and me. <laughs> I did it for me too, but I also did this for y'all. So 100% my money, not sponsored not even gifted nothing these are my 100 
honest opinions and I really like these products. Ooh, okay. All right, thanks for watching this video, y'all. If you enjoyed it, like I said, give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you like this video and the format or, and everything like that. Um, subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. We do all kinds of videos about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, glowing up on the inside and out. So yeah, hit that subscribe button if you're interested in that type of content. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.